IBM has a rich history of both contributing to open source and leveraging open source in its offerings. And IBM continues that tradition with Watson X. What is Watson X? Well, that's our new enterprise platform for AI and data. And why do we leverage open source in Watson X? Well, open source gives us the best AI, it gives us the best innovation, and it gives us the best models. And so today, we're going to look at the open source that's in Watson X, and we're going to look at it from three different aspects. We're going to look at it from model training and validation. We're going to look at it from model tuning and inferencing. And we're going to look at it from data gathering and analytics. OK, let's get started with model training and validation. Training and validating models can take a large amount of cluster resources, especially when the models we're looking at are those huge, multi-billion parameter foundation models that everyone's talking about. So to efficiently use a cluster and to make it easier for data scientists, we have an open source project called CodeFlare. CodeFlare provides user-friendly abstractions for scaling, queuing, and deploying machine learning workloads. It integrates Ray, Kubray, and PyTorch to provide these features. With Ray, it provides a job abstraction Kubray allows Ray to run on Kubernetes platforms like OpenShift, and we'll talk a little bit more about PyTorch in a minute. Let's look at a typical CodeFlare use case. Again, the first thing it's going to allow us to do is spin up a Ray cluster. It's then going to allow the data scientist to submit training jobs to the cluster. If the OpenShift cluster is heavily used and there aren't resources available, CodeFlare is able to actually queue the jobs and wait till there's resources available to run the jobs. And in some cases, if the cluster is full, it can actually be scaled up. And so it's possible to actually scale up the cluster in certain cases from CodeFlare. And then when all the training and validation is done, it can actually delete the array jobs and, and take them off the cluster. So again, what's nice about CodeFlare is it enables the data scientist to efficiently use a cluster, or in some cases, multiple OpenShift clusters, and not have them worry about the infrastructure underneath. We just looked at how we run model training and validation on a cluster. But now let's look at how we actually represent those models. And the open source project that we use to represent the models is PyTorch. PyTorch provides some key features for representing models, one of which is tensor support. What's a tensor? Well, it's a huge multidimensional array that supports all those weighted values or probabilities that are in the model that we tweak over time to get the model right uh, to be able to predict things correctly. The other key feature that PyTorch provides are GPU support and distributed training. When we train the models, we're actually doing large amounts of computation, and the GPUs that PyTorch is able to effectively use allow us to do that very efficiently. And PyTorch also provides distributed training. So with those large foundation models that wouldn't fit on a single machine, PyTorch enables us to do distributed training across a large number of machines. Let's look at the key features that PyTorch provides, one of which is neural, neural network creation. There's different types of neural networks, and PyTorch makes it easy to create all the different popular types of neural networks. PyTorch also provides easy loading of data. Another key feature of, of PyTorch is training loops. So built-in, easy-to-use training loops that are tweaking the model data to improve its ability to more accurately uh, provide inferencing. And finally, PyTorch also provides built-in model adjustments. The key one here is the auto gradient calculation. So think from your calculus days, when you're calculating gradients, um, having that feature built in, making the minor tweaks to the model so that it improves it and gets it over time to, to do a, be a better predictor and a better usage, this is what PyTorch provides. We just looked at how to represent models, but now let's look at model tuning and inferencing. And what do we mean by this? Well, we want to be able to serve a large number of AI models and be able to do it at scale on OpenShift. So the open source projects that we look at, the first key one is KServe Model Mesh. 
So this is what we use to actually serve up the models. And originally there was just KServe, which would allow us to put one model in a single pod. So one pod, one pod per model. Uh, that's not very efficient at all. And KServe was merged with another open source project called Model Mesh. And Model Mesh is much better at, at being able to efficiently get large thousands of models in a single pod. So between these two technologies, we're able to serve up thousands of models efficiently on an OpenShift cluster. Now, where are we going to find all these models? Well, Hugging Face has over 200,000 models, open source models. It's typically referred to as the GitHub of models. And IBM has a partnership with Hugging Face. And again, it's a great place to, to find great models to use on our IBM Watson X offerings. The other key open source technologies we have are KKit. KKit is a, an open source project that provides APIs for prompt tuning. So again, typically on the inferencing side, you're, you're serving up the models, but you also in some cases need to do a little bit of tuning to, to improve the results, and KKit provides tuning APIs to do that. The next technology is Kubeflow. Kubeflow provides orchestration of machine learning workloads and again allows you to build those machine learning pipelines that you, that you need to make life easy. So again, we have a, a wonderful large number of open source projects that provide our prompt tuning and inferencing all running on OpenShift. Now let's switch gears and look at data gathering and analytics. And the open source project that we use for that is Presto. What is Presto? Presto is an SQL query engine, and it's used for open data analytics and for the open data lakehouse. And let's look at the key features that it provides. Uh, high performance. Presto is highly scalable. It provides federated queries, and it's able to query the data where it lives. I hope I've convinced you that Watson X has continued IBM's long tradition of contributing to open source and leveraging open source and its offerings. If you'd like to learn more, please check out the links below.